Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Nikki Davidson. You're watching those results. Do you have a candidate that you're hoping will win that you really want to run against in the future? Power is out at our Fox 21 studio, so we are going to be doing this entire newscast taped on the scene of all of the damage. A suspect pleads guilty in the murder of an Aurora man whose body was found on the Misabi Trail early this year. A shark fin, it's jagged ice that occurs when layers of ice are crushed together. As New Year's Eve approaches, people are going to be out drinking alcohol and having a good time, of course. But do you know your limit? And in a plane traveling 90 miles per hour, the wind does not let you forget what you're about to do. After a few seconds, of terror. It's time to jump. They're expecting to have about 2,000 people come out today, and as you can see behind me, the candy is flowing. Snow and ice are a threat with the storm moving through the Northland tonight. It's extremely cold out here tonight. My phone has died many times, but the point of all of this is to show the people that are coming to the Super Bowl that here in Minnesota, we do not just stay inside and read a book when it is winter time. And in just a few days, this Lady Brew Crew beer is almost tapped out. You're at a house that is getting a lot of attention from this neighborhood. We're going to talk to the creator behind it. I want to introduce you to some of the awesome people that we have met out here already tonight. First up, this is my friend Olivia. She is seven years old. It's time to go back to the studio. <laughs> It gets colder outside, chances are getting higher that uh, you might encounter a certain kind of creature in your neighborhood. And there is one that has become sort of a neighborhood celebrity spotted by dozens of people in Hermantown doing one thing, looking for a snack. Check it out. Talk to most people on Morris Thomas Road in Hermantown and you'll hear something like this. You can tell he's around by the mess he makes. But it's the Take His Family cat that actually caught the suspect in the act. It was about 4 o'clock in the morning. We, he just was running across this back and forth. It sometimes means he wants food. So we, he got up and checked and he came back. He's like, Shannon, get up, get up. He's like, there's a huge bear. Munching on bird seed. Turned on the lights and he just stared. And then he saw the cat and the cat had walked up. Our dog had kind of taken back. He wasn't too fond of the bear, but the cat is, has no fear. So he kind of walked up to the window and he saw the cat and they kind of did a stare off and then kind of just mean <laughs> Walked away. It's the activities of this big black bear that have made him a neighborhood reputation. Viewer Bev Wallstrom sent in this picture of the suspect taking a nap on the side of the road. When we posted it online, it took off, triggering everyone else to share their own stories and snapshots that show a bear with a reputation as big as his belly and a taste for garbage. Oh, yeah. this is what Lizzie Larson, a zoologist at the Lake Superior Zoo, says this behavior, even the naps on the side of the road, can be explained. That's absorbing heat from the sun, so that's kind of a nice little heat pad for the bear. So if there's not a lot of people around bothering it, there's no reason why it wouldn't necessarily want to take a nap on that nice little hot pad. Larson says it's actually a busy time for all bears. They don't truly hibernate, but they do stay inside most of the winter. These bears, you know, are bulking up. They're getting ready to barely be kind of, you know, denned up and not coming out because there isn't that food available, so they don't really feel the need. And with a buffet in Hermantown, this bear has learned where the easy food is and how to get it. A bear can definitely get a taste for, you know, some of those things that are, you know, really tasty and treats, you know, if they find donuts necessarily, you know, in somebody's garbage, they might be looking for that again. I would, you know, advise people just make sure that your garbage is, you know, closed up, you know, because once they learn that, you know, it's like a toddler learning a bad trick, you know, they're going to do it over and over again. Others have also spotted cubs, meaning it's even more important to give all bears some distance and leave them alone. But if you are in a situation where you need them to back off from you, just, you know, make some loud noises seem really big, and they're probably going to say, you know, hey, this isn't worth it. I'm going to go find another trash can. And we do have to say, Dan, with this story, that the Bear Country exhibit is going to be opening at the zoo next summer. Oh, so if you don't get yeah. to see any bears in your backyard, you can go head on over there next summer and see one. I like the one with the tongue sticking I out. I know. Never even thought about that, that the, that the heat of the hot pit of the, of the street felt warm for them. I know. Who would have thought? And that's a pretty busy road, too. Yeah. I was surprised when I went out there. There's pretty much constant traffic. So Just to get used to it. I guess he doesn't really care. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Nikki Davidson. Dan Hanger has the night off. The historic North Shore Theater has now been open for a year. Fox 21's Andrew Kirov takes us inside the venue for an update on what's changed in the last 365 days and what's still to come.
the North. Okay, talking first forecast now. Anthony, it is the last day of February. What are we looking for in March? Weather. A lot happened in February, yes. again and again and again and, and again. again. <laughs> a broken record, a repeat yeah. offender there. Thanks, Anthony. In other news, a suspect has pled guilty in the murder of an Aurora man whose body was found on the Misabi Trail early this year. Meanwhile, two others are now facing the potential of life in prison on first-degree murder charges in the case. The body of 33-year-old Joshua Lavalley was found by a snowmobiler in January. Investigators say he had been shot twice in the face. According to the criminal complaint, he was blindfolded and shot because he made an unwanted sexual advance to a 17-year-old female. This morning, that female, Bailey French, and her boyfriend, the man that you see on the screen right there, 18-year-old Deshaun Bunnell, were indicted on first-degree murder charges. A third defendant, 20-year-old Anthony Housen, pled guilty to second-degree murder last week. A Minnesota officer has announced his resignation after a video showed him assaulting an inmate. And we want to warn you that the video is hard to watch. And back here in the Twin Ports, from the Husky refinery explosion to dangerous calls involving threatening officers with weapons, Superior Police faced a lot of challenges in 2018, and today they are being recognized for their efforts. Fox 21's Victoria Kapak takes us there. News. Thanks, Victoria. Well, earlier this week, city crews demolished the old Carter Hotel, and now development leaders are looking forward to opportunities to breathe new life into downtown. The city says that the deteriorating hotel had attracted graffiti and vandalism for years. They believe it had become an eyesore to nearby businesses, and there were several vacancies nearby. Now, Christy Sp Stokes from the Greater Downtown Council envisions better possibilities for the area surrounding the hotel. There is. Now, the former Cozy Bar, located directly across from the Carter Hotel, also sits vacant. Former owner Eric Ringsred has taken the city to court to fight to keep it from being demolished, claiming that the city allowed it to deteriorate and that the structure has historical value. The city says that all the blame for the Cozy's current condition is on Ringsred. Well, after decades of inviting the Northland to share the holiday lights with her out at Park Point, Marsha Hales said last year was it. She was finished putting them up. But now there might be a new way to see her lights. Fox 21's Catherine Huntley has the story. For local news. Christmas seems so far away. Thanks, Catherine. Well, a group in Superior is working to keep kids off of drugs in a new way. They've created a quiz show. The Elks Lodge and Local Community Coalition teamed up to create it and bring drug awareness to middle schoolers in a fun way. They say that drug and alcohol use starts as early as 11 years old in some children. And so to inform them about drug use, they are doing a competition that could potentially save lives in the future. New stories are next here on Fox 21 Local News. Let's take a look at the rundown. Coming up tonight, a Duluth business makes a major expansion in the West End.